Hi, my name is Jaden Lowe and I own Box Turtles as pets. It's moving like that because it thinks it's in the water. So it's trying to swim. Growing up, my favourite animals, usually people are like, oh, elephants, tiger, lions, etc, etc. But I think, I guess mine would be turtles and tortoises, or reptiles in general, you know. Most people think that actually turtles are sort of animals that, you know, just stay at a corner and, you know, and just do nothing and sort of stink up your tank. While that, to a certain extent, that may be true, I feel that turtles, they're quite unique. Each one of them have sort of different personalities, temperaments, they're very curious animals. If you give them a big enclosure and a big space for them to crawl around, explore with, you know, they can be really fascinating animals. Yeah, they love to explore a lot, they love to eat a lot, you know, I, I love to, you know, every week introduce them to a new fruit. Yeah, it's very, it's, it's very rewarding to keep them as turtles. Lah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, I need to pick them up because it will scratch up the walls, like what it did last time. Okay. Yeah, it's important for turtles to have to, to move around and, and have exercise. Like, you know, you can't just keep it in a tank all day. Uh, it's improper care towards a turtle. If you want to buy a dog or cat, you know, you have to be ready to fork out the expensive vet fees, food, everything, which can usually cost upwards of five digits per year for some dog and cat owners, uh, you know, but for turtles, you have to be ready for really, really high maintenance. I would say more than dogs and cats, because you, you know, they, they, they are quite dirty animals, so they can really uh, stink up and dirty the enclosure and tank really frequently. So I would, you know, you have to be ready to, you know, to take out the whole tank, remove all the water, remove all the poo, all the rocks, everything, and you know, to give them a fresh new bedding. So you, and you have to do that about every one, two weeks. So it can be a bit tedious. That's the most uh, biggest downside of keeping them. At the end of the day, no matter how tightly you Im impose rules and laws on, you know, the trade of these exotic animals, people are still going to try and keep them no matter what. You know, if, if people want something, they're going to try and do everything they can to get it. Lah. The sad part about this legal wildlife trade is that when they try and bring in tortoises, they usually, what they do is, they won't just bring in like one, they'll bring in maybe hundreds or even thousands at a time of these uh, exotic animals, like for example, tortoises. What they do is that, you know, uh, they will sneak them past customs and what they do is that they'll actually take tape and you tape up all the tortoises. So they won't move around and you know, they'll stay still in the luggage. So this actually causes most of them to die. I really do love tortoises a lot. I think they make great companions though, and I guess you won't have to bear the, the sadness of you know, them passing away because you would probably pass on before them. Mm -hmm. 